Oh, I don't think I need to stand on this side. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, wow, that's a bit orange. All right, whatever. Hey, um, so welcome back to the new year. I'm doing my first solo mission in the tinny, and I'm not sure what's going to actually happen because it pissed down raining on the way out to Seafall's boat ramp, and I'm just getting mixed messages from the weather apps that I'm using. It's supposed to be not bad weather to go fishing, and it pissed down. And I mean, pissed down in the way of I was sitting on 60 pretty much the whole way out here which had me a little bit concerned but look money in a little tinny i might even just run up the creeks just keep an eye on this weather i'm just waiting for it to get a bit more light so i can uh i guess see where i'm going um we've got the tinny behind me car you can hear it obviously um but yeah i just this is my first solo mission in the boat and I'm pretty excited to say the least that I just wish that this rain would whoa, bugger off. Anyway, we have got Tenny. I actually had a bit of dramas yesterday with the um, with the sounders. Now I had two sounders. One I bought off Marketplace, fifty dollar Ray Marine Dragonfly one. It had worked perfectly up until yesterday. Uh, I don't know what happened. It just stop working whatsoever so my father-in-law gave me one of his old ones it was like a Lorenz HDS 7 first gen it was supposed to be a really good sounder but the transducer from what I read needed to have the little black box of the 3d structure sound black box also hooked up to this to the screen and um, yeah well that didn't happen because <laughs> I didn't have that black box so I ended up buying a new fish finder yesterday. This is all happening. And then obviously with the rain, I kind of just felt a little bit defeated this morning. So I kind of just pushing myself now to, I guess, just have an explore, test out the tinny in salt water. I've had a few little test runs in the dams just to be safe. Today, we're just gonna play it by ear. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, I'm just getting the boat ready now. And let's just see what happens. Look at her. She's quite the little setup now. You wait till the screen goes in. Loving the new motor also. Look at all that air. There's something big going underneath the boat. I need to get in the water. Whew. Now don't knock me casting skills. I'm not gonna say that I am a uh, pro fisherman. I'm still learning. But holy heck, there's some bait underneath the boat. Hopefully I can get a... Oh, I think I'm getting a... I don't know if I'm hitting the bottom. What's the 1.8? Yeah, I could be hitting the bottom. Let's knock him back. How quiet's that Suzuki, eh? Oh my goodness. I've never had a brand new motor before, but like this thing is an absolute weapon of a boat. Now, you can't even hear it. The four stroke just kills it. Yeah, I've never really had a brand new boat to that, a uh, brand new motor. So, it's just awesome how everything just works. I'm sick of, I think I just got finally to the point where I was sick of just fixing old junkers. And I say that by with a secondhand boat. But, oh, there's definitely something on the bottom. I don't really want to, I need to change into, oh, I've got a soft plastic there. I bought some bait, also some prawns and, um, squid there's a little hole that i like to sit at that sounds gross there's a spot i like to sit at just in between nuri and out of nuri i think everyone knows about it 
there's a little hole there if you can find it on your sounder. Yeah, I've caught a few things there. <laughs> well, I used to catch big catfish there. So I just pulled into a little beach that's just on the other side of Newry Island uh, mainly because I was flying the drone and I kind of wanted to I'm not going to test the waters just yet in the way of landing the drone in the tinny now well, I get a lot of questions about those sort of drone stuff guys it takes a lot of practice to land a drone I know that sounds crazy but especially in a boat that moves and like even even if you're anchored, it's very, very hard to land a drone. So I was lucky enough, there's a beach here. I thought, fuck it, just, just sit on the beach. So I can't say we've had proper luck, really. Um, I'm not exactly concentrating on fish. I'm more just enjoying the boat itself. And I know that seems weird. Like, why would you own a boat and not go fishing? But I actually just like exploring. Like, this beach here is awesome, man. And... The coastline is on here, all the rock formations. You know how I feel about rocks, guys. But today we are just going to do a bit, a little bit, a little bit more exploring. I need to learn how to use the sounder properly. The boat's floating off, but yeah, I just sort of just come in here, land the drone. What a beautiful shot! Show you guys here. You can see the drone shots of this little beach cove. If you're ever in the area, just come in and have a look. Little fish everywhere here. Uh, this is definitely a croc creek, F FYI. Um, I was just talking to someone yesterday that there was a croc underneath the boat ramp at Sea Fork boat ramp, Victor Creek boat ramp. So um, definitely keep your toes out of the water. So I just pulled in here for a little bit. I am actually going to try the little reef just out here, out the front. I'm just going to go have a look at it. I want to see what the sounder looks like on it and see if I can mark a few spots, mark a few points. And uh, let's try and catch a fish, guys. Let's get into it. We've had our little play now. We've um, sorted out, we have sorted out a few things in the boat, We've got some content for the drone, from the drone and that sort of stuff, so let's actually have a decent dig at trying to catch some fish, eh? Oh, righto, so one thing I will never get sick of on this boat little green button here on the on the thing here oh, who wants to pull start an outboard really mate for a little 20 this thing is an absolute weapon shout out to reef marine they hooked me up with one of these gave me a really good price on it massive shout out to reef marine they are a Suzuki and Yamaha dealer, guys. If you want to get yourself a new outboard, definitely go in and see him, man. Andrew's an absolute legend. Help, helps anyone out. I'm just setting my course. All right. And uh, I wheel one in, guys. I wheel one in. Oh, it's only a little sweet lip, but I'll tell you what, you catch a couple of these, and that'll definitely fill up the Esky. And uh, that one's way undersized, as we can all see. She's pretty fucking small, but that was first drop. So we're in a good spot right here. <laughs> Woo, yeah, boy. All right, now I need to get another bit of bait. And uh, just running the prawns. Sweeties, sweet lips love prawn. Most fish love prawn, especially these, these woolies ones. Definitely worth a throw in. And let's just see, let's just see. Oh, right here is where I just threw it. Let's see if I can uh, repeat the process. 
Hopefully you guys can see everything. Trying a new angle here around the neck. Let's see. Let's see if we're on here. We we'll just let it let it sit. Yeah, we're on. We're on. Oh boy. Oh, I was too slow. I think I was too slow. I think he got me. We'll try one more. Let me know in the comments if my hook's too big. Because I'm sure he's will. But that was just the first hook I had. Strong on. I think that's what's happening. I think my hook's too big and I'm just missing them. As soon as you drop down, they are just smashing it. Righto. Yep. Ooh, this one's a bit bigger. Yes. Set the hook, set the hook. Yeah, Bluey. You. Oh, mate. That is a ripper of an effort. Phew. Oh, another little bluey here, guys. Woo. Oh, I'm trying to stay still. Another little bluey here. That's such a beautiful fish. Beautiful eating if you can get some. And even get some that are the right size. That'd be great too. Well, I better fill you in. So, the wind picked up quite a bit. So, I am about to head in. I was going to... I'm not even going to film along the way. When it comes to that sort of stuff, I just like to uh, concentrate on the job at hand. Um, and it's always good to know how much my boat can handle. Um, sitting on, I was sitting on about 13 knots and she was purring pretty good. It's probably half meter swells, which may not be big for some boats, but you know, it's starting to get a little bit choppy. You can see in the back there, but um, we're going to head back in. That was the first cheeky little solo mission in the new tinny. There's plenty more to come, guys. Thanks for tuning in. So the channel is all about just having fun, getting out there and having, having a bit of a go. And uh, I think that's the motto I'm gonna take this year. It's just dig in and just have a decent go, have a bit of fun while we're in it and just capture some awesome memories, guys. So if you like this, like and subscribe, guys. Buy some merch, support the channel. It's pretty simple. Ah, I'm kind of just touring around now. Righto, guys, that's the end of this episode. Like and subscribe. You know what to do. Love yous. Woo!